Hello, my name is Yun Zhang from Georgia Institute of Technology. I'm presenting a work on SyncWise, window-induced shift estimation for synchronization of video and accelerometry from wearable sensors. This work is in collaboration with Northwestern University and University of Memphis. Video recordings from wearable cameras are increasingly being used to obtain temporally precise ground truth labels in studies that involve multimodal sensors. The goal of this work is to provide a flexible, general-purpose solution for synchronizing cameras with other mobile sensors that can be applied to field collected data, doesn't impose any additional burden on participants, and is fully automated. We collected a dataset during a smoking cessation study since to stop. In this study, the wearable devices included a GoPro video camera strapped to the participant's chest, accelerometer from the chest-worn sensor suit AutoSense, and two accelerometers from motion sense wristband. Accelerometry data are synchronized to the phone clock, while videos are stored locally with a separate unsynchronized clock. Data that are of low quality or can't be manually synchronized are discarded. Manual synchronization is achieved by aligning the detected video landmarks with one of the two accelerometers. The annotator agreement study shows an average difference of 346 milliseconds and no significant difference among the three annotators. The automatic synchronization method we propose addresses two technical challenges. Partial observability refers to the fact that the time interval in which synchronization points can be reliably identified are sporadically distributed. We address it via a window-based kernel density estimation approach. The second challenge of coordinated restoration arises when the two sensors are not rigidly mounted and calibrated during installation and output data with respect to two separate 3D coordinate systems. We address it by using a PCA analysis to identify a common principal direction between modalities prior to restoration. Different portions of accelerometry data can vary significantly in quality due to missing data points as the result of various transmission problems. In this work, we sample windows where each second of data contains more than 75% of valid data points. In order to compare video and accelerometry, a key operation is to extract an estimate of acceleration from video movement. This is accomplished by first calculating optical flow for each pair of adjacent frames in the video and then average the optical flow spatially for each frame and compute the difference in the average optical flow. This provides a 2D camera acceleration feature vector for each frame. Our approach to matching noisy video and accelerometry signals captured from mobile devices has three steps. Window pair sampling, window pair matching, and offset estimation. The first step selects high quality window pairs for matching as a way to overcome the noise and messiness in data. The second step matches each window pair by calculating their cross-correlation, which gives a local time shift estimation and the confidence of this estimate. The confidence score captures the fact that not all window pairs are equally informative regarding the true offset. Intuitively, higher and sharper peaks are associated with more reliable estimates. We evaluate two versions of our algorithm, using the x-axis of both data streams and using the PCA projected data. The final step uses weighted kernel density estimation to combine noisy estimates of the shift produced from multiple accelerometry video window pairs to obtain an accurate estimate. This experiment compares the performance of baseline and synchwise using a simulated dataset with randomly generated ground truth offsets in the range of negative 3 to 3 seconds. Apart from average error, we use the percentage of clips within the offset error to evaluate our method. Our method with PCA enabled achieves the best performance. This demonstrates the efficacy of PCA in coordinated restoration for short data windows. The original ground truth offsets are substantially larger and have a complex distribution. We therefore developed an interactive version of the SyncWise method. Please see the paper for details. While these results fall short of a fully automated approach, our method has the benefit of broad applicability and may still save significant human error in synchronizing video clips under difficult and real-world recording conditions. We addressed the synchronized task on the publicly available CMU and MMAC dataset and demonstrated improved performance over the baseline. 
This demonstrates the ability of our method to automatically focus on the signal-intensive temporal windows and ignore those of little synchronization utility. Please see the paper for details. To summarize, we demonstrate the feasibility and effectiveness of a novel approach to synchronize data from wearable camera with data from wearable accelerometer. It can be further adapted to other sensing modalities on different parts of the human body. Doing so will enable temporal alignment of video derived labels to diverse wearable sensor signals obtained from the in wild environment. Finally, we provide our novel sense to stop sync dataset for use as benchmark for in the wild time synchronization along with our time synchronization software.